Hello folks, my name is Mark Wilson and I'm the founder of AccuModel, where we inspire confidence in hydraulic modeling. This is another tutorial for EPA NAT and a series of tutorials to help new users get up to speed quickly. This particular video is going to follow along with the EPA NAT user's guide section 2.4 talking about drawing the network. The network we're going to try to draw in the tutorial is this one here on page 14 of the user's guide. Okay, so EPNet has the edit toolbar with some tools here for adding elements. And if we just click each type of element we want, this one's a reservoir, we can just go ahead and click out in the map. And then next we're going to add some junctions and actually what we're going to do here is go back to our options that we looked at in one of the last videos and we're going to display our link and node IDs. Okay, so now when we add junctions we're going to try to make it just like what's shown in the user's guide as far as numbering goes. And if you remember the last video we talked about that you could prepend like a prefix such as J dash, which we didn't do just so that we can match up with the user's guide and get the same results. Now I'm going to switch to the tank and we're going to go ahead and click there. We could, if I wasn't very careful with these, we could go ahead and drag those around if we needed to. Again, I don't have a background map here to digitize against for reality's sake. Uh, we'll show how to add that and do that in a future video. Now we'll uh, take the links and we'll go ahead and click between here. You can either single click and that ends that pipe or you can double click and then it just goes it goes ahead and starts a new one. I'm going to do single click because that's what they say in uh, the user's guide. And then if you're not right on top of a node and you single click, it will actually add an intermediate vertex. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't have the drawing right in front of me, so I'm not sure if I'm getting these uh, numbers right. But uh, we'll just, uh, or drawn in the right order. We'll just assume that they're in the right order. Uh, see, I, I missed it just a little bit there. We can hit escape and start over with that link. Okay. Now the last one here is going to be a pump. And so one thing that you want to keep in mind is directionality of your digitization because it does matter with uh, several elements namely pumps, valves, and pipes that will give an attribute of a check valve. So you want to make sure you draw those links in the direction of normal flow. So that's that pump there. In the next video we'll show how to go back in make sure all the attributes are correct for all these that we've digitized. Thanks for watching. Please check out the whole series and subscribe to the tutorials and have a great day.